dear colleagues this is a very interesting and a quite challenging case we can see this is a heart cataract with small people and there is white flaky material along the border of the people so this patient has pseudo exfoliation we have started the case let us watch the surgical steps this is the main incision this is a 2.8 millimeter incision in this case i have planned to stain the anterior capsule with tripan blue dye and apply iris hooks and i always apply a uh, uh, tripan blue dye underneath an air bubble and in this case i have to inject the dye underneath the iris here it is so i have injected the dye at 3 o'clock and at 8 o'clock underneath the iris so that this dye spreads all around and the anterior capsule is stained all around the dye is washed out and now viscoelastic substance 2% ASPMC is injected into the anterior chamber ASPMC is good enough to protect the corneal endothelium if we do the surgery very gently and if we maintain a safe distance from the corneal endothelium this is more than enough to protect corneal endothelium now i am making some stab incisions one stab incision has been given at 10 o'clock this is at 4 o'clock and this is a side foot incision for introduction of chopper this is a stab incision at 1 o'clock and one more stab incision at 7 o'clock so 10 4 1 7 four stab incisions and i have planned to use four iris hooks in this case dear colleagues this is a real time surgery this surgery has not been edited at all and you can watch each and every step of the surgery you just have to have patience for 16 minutes this is the iris hook the silicone guard has been retracted backward now the hook is positioned in such a way that i can hook the iris margin here it is and the silicone guard is advanced at this time i don't pull the iris too much just hook and pull a little bit this is one step incision and now one more hook is being placed at one o'clock and another one is placed at seven o'clock while i am applying on hook my assistant is ready with another hook with holding it with another macpherson forceps thus i save time now i pull the hooks and this is adequate dilatation of the people for the surgery now i incise the anterior capsule with a 26 gauge bent needle raise a flap and come out now i use utrita forceps inject some more visco use utrita forceps hold this capsular tag and i move anti clockwise and do a c c c continuous covilinear capsular axis see how easy this surgery becomes and how safe it appears if we just dilate the people 
with some hooks. That's it. Now I am doing hydro dissection. The rex's size is adequate but otherwise I would have done a bit larger rexes in this case if I could because in hard cataracts I always prefer a large rexes about 6 millimeter rexes and now is the time to enter into the eye with the FACO handpiece I am using Oatly Cataract 3 FACO machine in this case and from the very beginning I am in FACO 2 mode where the power in this case is 85% flow rate is 45 ml per minute and vacuum is 450 mm of mercury here it is bevel down gently glide over the iris then go downward rotate the FACO teeth with the help of the left hand and now I'm going to go into the nucleus bury the teeth with full energy full continuous energy I go forward I call it submarine technique this is similar to woodcutter's technique described by Dr. Vikas Mahatme of founder of Mahatme Eye Hospital and Eye Bank rotated the nucleus and chopping at another point rotate it hold the nucleus here and the crack of the first chop is separated so that the nucleus divides into two now here I chop again and this hemineucleus is being divided into three parts this one part small part is emulsified and taken out this is the larger part of this hemineucleus I just emulsify a part of it from the apex hold it here and chop it again this cataract is having a nuclear sclerosis of say grade 4 definitely this cataract is harder than a cataract with grade 3 nuclear sclerosis and as I emulsify the nucleus you will see the posterior capsule is beautifully studded with white dots and these white dots are on the posterior surface of the posterior capsule this patient underwent surgery of the right eye few days back and he had similar findings so this is a bilateral phenomenon now see how I remove the epinucleus I turn the tip hold the epinucleus and move it forward and here I have to struggle for some time to mobilize the epinucleus I don't use vacuum I use only vacuum and no power to hold the nucleus here sorry to hold the epinucleus and I can hold it and it turns and comes at the center of the uh, anterior chamber I use little bit of energy and remove it and now you can see white dots on the posterior capsule similar findings were there few days back now I inject some viscoelastic substance and remove the cortical matter with a Simcoe cannula 
This is a 23 gauge Simcoe cannula. And the cortex is coming very nicely. But these white dots will not come. This is on the posterior surface of the posterior capsule. This is a unique phenomenon. I have seen these white dots only in this case and this patient had pseudoexfoliation in both eyes. That's it. So the cortical matter is removed. Now I inject some viscoelastic substance. And I can see some cortex at 1.30 o'clock. The anterior portion of the cortex is showing. Now here we can see the cortex is there. So I have planned to go again with the Simco and remove these cortex. That's it. And now I have to implant an intraocular lens. Since I have to remove the hooks, I implant it under viscoelastic substance. I have injected with SPMC and now I am going to implant the lens. I have to be very gentle while I will implant the lens. I must not push the iris and cause iridodialysis. Yes, the lens is the leading haptic is guided into the capsula bag and the trailing haptic is pushed into the anterior chamber and it also is guided into the capsular bag. Yes, by dialing it goes into the capsular bag. And that's it. If these white dots cause some hindrance in vision, it can I can always make an opening with the help of ear laser. Now I am removing the hooks. See how easy it is to remove the hooks. You just have to retract the silicon guard like this, unhook the pupillary margin and pull it out. So the four iris hooks are removed. That's it. So all the hooks are removed and after removing the hooks we just have to clean, remove the viscoelastic substance that has been used before implanting the intraocular lens. I remove the viscoelastic substance thoroughly. First I irrigate with Simco.
And now I take the irrigating probe of bimanual IA. Irrigate the anti chamber, go behind the eye wheel and irrigate the capsular bag. And now I use both irrigation and aspiration. So about 3-4 minutes has been spent just to remove the viscoelastic substance. If we could irrigate, if we could implant the eye well under irrigation, this time can be saved. Now the side ports are hydrated and antichamber is formed and the case is concluded. Dear colleagues, we must take all challenging cases as fun, as very interesting. We must not be afraid of any challenge in surgery because there is a way. Most of the cases I have seen in 99% challenging cases, there is a way and you just have to find out that way to complete the case. Thank you very much for watching. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. This is a real-time surgery and thank you very much for watching.